I have reached the end of this series regarding regime shift modeling. However, I have not reached the final end. I'm sure that I will return to this series many times in the near future to expand practices and modeling ideas to incorporate. Just to give you some toys to play with, here are some ideas. I have also created a time series decomposition model strip so that you can use it to decompose financial time series and see the different components. Not just for newcomers, but in the quantitative analysis of time series data concept, but also to more experienced people. Returning to the basics, I think, and I believe, that can give you some ideas and start to analyze the fundamentals of financial time series. Adding fundamental or alternative data to the regime model is a very interesting research concept. All the data I have actually used is technical data, but most importantly, past data. Although you are doing a great job now casting and using the most recent observation as a crucial value with Markov process modeling, doing that predict update loop in the previous tutorials. Incorporating accessory factors that could add alpha related to knowing macroeconomic regime is a research idea worth investigating into the future. If you want to expand on concepts, you should watch the videos of my alpha teammate Martin Sinsley about how simplifying the approach instead of looking to an overall fit results in better performance of the strategies. It's just an empirical thing, and it's very uh, related to the things that we have been doing in this regime shift modeling tutorial. If I have done my work properly, you should have started to dissect how the market regime knowledge generates a new and improved situation for us. It splits the market complex dynamics in simple problems that could be approached differently. Just even a simple common filter or a moving average can throw a lot of information and help us in gain some edge if you do the data pre-processing step well and analyze where the market is. You just need to look at the markets with other lenses. I hope that you have liked the analysis regarding market regime and that you have understood the key concept around all this research I have done. I will try to make it clear in just two sentences. There is no model that can work in every market regime, but there are models that can work in determined market regimes. Or there is one general model to approach the markets, a model of many models. See you in the next series.